Oh my gosh, there it is. Magical Nexus. Zero of 46. Yo, this looks insane, bro. Hold up, bro. I just want to inspect this for a second. This is the statue holding that thing that was teleporting everyone. Wait, I wonder if the... Oh, wait. Stair Shaper. Buy orb. What in the world? Eligible magical monsters can be transposed using coins to magical nexus once they reach level 18. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to level up our monsters from the other islands and teleport them here. Okay, noted. But man, dude, let's just take a look, dude. We got these nice fountains, dude. This little temple up here. Is this like our castle? No, it's not. Then all these little statues over here, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. The look of this island aesthetically is phenomenal. This looks so beautiful. Okay, my info tab wants to be clicked. So let's Let's go ahead and get into this. Maybe this can teach us something here. Welcome to magic. Okay, wait. How do I get monsters? This is what I need to know. You can transpose an eligible magical monster once it's reached level 15. Transposition costs coins or diamonds, depending on the rarity of the monster. Okay, let's just let's just go ahead and do this with our first monster. And we'll just learn as we go. Wait, what is this thing in the middle, though? Nexus nucleus. Okay. Interesting, guys. It looks like this is like the heart of meshing the worlds together. Wow. There, dude, there's so much going on right now. Okay, this is what we do. Let's just go ahead and go to one of these magical islands, I guess, and just grab a monster and try to level him up i'm not entirely sure how this is gonna work okay i believe gloptic was in that trailer right okay yeah transpose down there we have a new button okay let's see what happens when i click this magical monster must be level 18 okay guys we're gonna have to roll through some food in today's video thankfully we have 77 million so we should be all right let's get this guy leveled up to level 18 wow that is taking away a lot of food literally for one slot is almost a million so we're actually gonna be using a lot but i guess gloptic is gonna be our first monster to be transposed okay transporting a monster will send it to the magical nexus and reset it in the star shaper. This cannot be undone and we'll remove it from this island. Dang, that sucks. Are you sure you want to transpose Noodle to Magical Nexus for 8 million? Oh my gosh, it costs coins too. Wow, okay, this is a completely new system. We're gonna go ahead and send it though. Your monster, okay, I think it's, okay. It sent Globstick over here to this like being of a statue. And now I guess we're just gonna have to, two days. Oh my gosh, that's a long time. This is gonna be a lot of diamonds right here. Okay, we're just gonna send this guys and let, I guess let's just get this island. Wait. Transposition is complete. Click to ponder the orb. Dude, this is so different, guys. It's not an egg. It's an orb. How cool is this, guys? Oh, my gosh, dude. My singing monsters is innovating. And look at all the monsters, dude. So, I guess we can get, like, all of these magical island monsters here. Holy cow. This is crazy. All right. Let's just place Galoptic down and hear what he sounds like. Oh, Oh my gosh, I like this from Galoptic here. Very high-pitched tone that was kind of like giving me like an ancient picking vibe or something like that. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, dude, that's cool, dude. Gloptic is getting our vibe set here. Being the first monster for our new island. Okay, I'm just now noticing in the top that it's showing our shards. So I guess there's gonna be some kind of shard system when it comes to this new island here. Interesting, guys. Okay, I think what we do is we... Galoptic picked up there. Okay, guys, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go back to our magical islands and just keep this going and keep adding monsters here. I'm not gonna lie, it does stink that I'm gonna have to replace all the monsters that leave the islands. That is unfortunate, but it's okay. I'll do whatever I have to do to get this new island started. Okay, let's see. Does Gob go over there? Oh my gosh, let's go! Guys, I love Gob. Gob is a phenomenal monster. I'm sure whatever they do with him on this next island is about to be phenomenal. Here we go. Let's get him to level 18. And now let's send Homeboy on over to our... Okay, so this time it costs 10 diamonds instead of 8 million coins. Interesting. Okay, I guess they're doing like a different variation with how exactly you get monsters teleported over to the new island. Interesting, guys. Okay, we have him over here in our stair shaper, I guess that's what it's called. Oh yeah, I'm just now noticing this staircase goes up here behind them and then just into infinity over there. So I guess the eggs come rolling in on this staircase from the other islands and then they land here in this statue. Okay, that makes sense. That's kind of what we saw in the trailer. So it's cool that they're keeping that theme consistent here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and place Rare Gob down and hear what he sounds like on the new island. Oh, yo. Okay, we're getting kind of like a sad symphony sound. It's like very, oh. Went a little high right there. It's like a very serious tone. Okay. These guys are kind of working off each other. Wow. 
This is very interesting, guys. I'm just trying to soak this in. We are getting a very interesting vibe to this island to start off here. One thing we need to all remember before you guys come to this island and try to get monsters, make sure you have plenty of food because I think I just spent like 9 million food on two monsters. So, dude, we literally might run out of food in this episode. All right, guys, who should we take from Fairy Island? I think we've got to go with our four element platy. This monster, it's got the bagpipes vibe. It's just such a beautiful sounding monster. I remember when I got him in our Fairy Island episode, I was so excited. Sadly, he's about to have to say goodbye to the island because we are sending him on over to Magical Nexus. Once again, guys, and I'm sure this is, I don't know how they're gonna work a bagpipe sound into this like very serious and slow vibe that we have going on off the bat, but I'm sure they're gonna find a way to do it. Oh. Dude. This is giving me like an ancient Egyptian vibe. I don't know. Am I tripping with that? Okay, it looks like he's taking a break now and letting the other monsters go here. That was weird though. I mean, that did give us a platy sounding vibe there, which makes sense. Let's see if he continues to play here though. There he is. Hmm. Dude, such an interesting sounding monster. Here we are, guys. Our first three monsters for the island. And I'm not gonna lie. So far, this song is not really sounding like it meshes together that well. But that probably just has to do with the completely different monsters that I chose to put together. So I'm sure as we keep adding monsters to the island, the song is gonna start to mesh together. Okay, guys, I wanna get another light island monster over to the new one. And I think Flores is a magical monster, right? Yes, okay, we can use Flores. Okay, perfect, guys. So let's get her leveled up to level 18, man. I think that's the highest we've ever had to level up monster up in order to teleport them, isn't it? I know we go to 15 for Gold Island, but I'm pretty sure that's the highest we've ever had to go, so this is a completely new standard for us. Interesting, guys. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get Flora sped on up now and place her on Magical Nexus and hear what she sounds like. Oh, there we go. That cymbal sound is kind of sliding right in there between Gob and Gloptic. Oh, she sings too! Hold up, I didn't catch that, but she started singing there. Just watch here. Oh, go Flores. That's cool. We're getting a little bit of a vocal from her. Yes, sir. That's awesome, dude. Okay, whenever we're making islands, it's like we're putting the puzzle pieces slowly together. And the more pieces you get, the more you start to see the full image. You know, that's like, that's what I can kind of relate this to. Very interesting, guys. Okay, which island should we go to now? We haven't went to Bone Island yet. Hmm, what's a Bone Island exclusive monster? Okay, I did see Clackla in our trailer. So I'm sure he's going to be one of the monsters that we send over. But let's see, Pachidna, that's a magical monster. Yes, it is. Pachidna always gives us like a really cool sound. Those birds are just chirping kind of like a piano. Symbol-ish kind of sound, something like that. So I'm sure he's about to sound phenomenal over here on our magical nexus. Okay, let's go ahead and see. We're gonna go ahead and speed him up here. And it seems to be one of our first like bright sounding monsters. So I'm really curious to see how he's about to mesh within our song. Oh. Okay. We're getting a very subtle pluck from him right now. Dun, 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 dun. Freestyling this. Oh my gosh. That one was crazy. Yo, Pekidna turned up right there. Oh, there he is again. Oh my gosh. I love when they transition to that fast period right there. Wow, I was not expecting that. Pekidna was playing very subtle and slow, and then he just boom turned it up. I want you guys to let me know what you overall think of this new island, the new magical monster system teleporting these guys. Our island looks like this, and at the end of the video, it's gonna look like this. Okay, wait, please tell me this monster can go to Nexus Island. Oh my gosh, it can. Guys, this is one of my favorite monsters. All right, guys, let's send him on over 4 million coins, but it's well worth it. See you later, Fiddleman. Oh, dude, I love that sound effect. And there he is, dude. Here we go. Let's place him down on the island now and hear what he sounds like. Oh! Dude! Oh, my gosh! Bro, I don't even, I don't want to interrupt him. He always gives us that like ancient kind of Kung Fu Panda vibe. Such a beautiful tone, man. Great start to the video, guys. I think we're actually going to head back on over to Light Island because I want to get this monster. I think her name is Tutu, if I remember correctly. I really like her sound on this island. She plays like that tippy toe kind of piano vibe. So I know she's just going to fit in beautifully on her new island. Man, and I'm noticing there are some long wait times on literally every monster. All right, let's go ahead and place Tutu down now and hear what she does for the island. Oh, 
Yo, wait, that's really... Oh my gosh, that was so graceful. She like literally sped walked that intro. Okay, two, two. Oh my gosh, her sound is so like melodic. It's like a... It's a very lighthearted sound. I'm not sure if this is all that we're getting from her, but it looks like she's... Okay, guys, it looks like that's gonna be Tutu. She doesn't really have any, like, solid, long parts of the song. It looks like she's kind of more of, like, an in-and-out monster. Okay, let's see. I believe there is someone we can take from Bowen Island here. And I think the Nutches. I remember them being in the trailer. Yes, we can transpose them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get these guys leveled up to level 18. By the way, guys, oh my goodness. Getting monsters on this island requires so much food. As you guys can see, I prepared for the episode, thankfully. But, man, I'm sure a lot of you guys are struggling to get some of these monsters on map. Magical Nexus, simply because it costs so much food. Oh, there they are. Okay. They're keeping like the rah kind of sound that we get on Bone Island. It looks like, okay, the song's looping. And it looks like that's all we're going to be getting from the Nuches. I don't know. Maybe as we get more monsters, more levels of the song will open up. And we might get some more sounds from some of these monsters like Fiddleman and Tutu. I don't know. We'll have to just keep watching as the video goes on. Okay, let's see. Over on Fairy Island, I believe there are a few monsters we can get. This guy right here. He's definitely... Okay, yeah, we can transpose him. He played... Boom, 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 boom. I love that like plucking sound. He plays like almost like a keyboard cymbal kind of sound. I don't know how to explain it, but he has like a very lighthearted touch and I think he sounds really good. So I'm sure over here on Magical Nexus, he's going to be beautiful. All right, we're going to go ahead and speed broski up out of the stair shaper and toss him on our island here. Yo, wait, he's scratching his nose there for the intro. What was... Okay, hold up. Bro, I was... Wa Dude, one thing I've noticed. This island, they have done extra stuff with animations. Like Fiddleman up here, he's got this cool wavy emotion, and he does like a flip whenever he starts. Oh, wait. Okay. It looks like he's very kind of slow-paced here. His cymbal sound is like a little bit deeper here. Look, there he is. He's scratching his nose again, bro. Oh, he kind of walked that down there. I like that. It looks like he's going to be a monster that kind of comes in randomly in all the stages of the song and just adds like his little lighthearted touch. Okay, we're going to keep this video flowing. What island should we go to next? Let's see. Let's go to, you know, let's go to Psychic Island. Okay, who is it here that we can get? Okay, so I'm pretty sure the juggler, we can definitely get him. And Ruba. Ruba is a really pretty monster. Okay, I actually do like Ruba. And she's, in, okay, yeah, we're definitely going with her here. Let's get her leveled up on over to level 18. There we go. Now Ruba. Say peace out to Psychic Island because you're going straight to Magical Nexus. Ruba has like this violin kind of thing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm messing up the instrument. I don't remember. I just remember I did like her sound. So if they change her up and make her fit within the vibe that they have going on here on Magical Nexus, I'm sure she's going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, Ruba. Okay, she came in for like a few seconds there and then kind of went out. Oh, there she is. Okay, I think she's playing with Fiddleman. Oh! Dude! Her and Fiddleman work off together so well. Tell me something, Ruba! What a beautiful sounding monster, man. Man, I just, I love that. She is, oh, this island is, I don't even know what to say about this island right now. I just know that they are cooking up something crazy. All right, we're going to keep the video rolling, guys. Let's see, where should we go to now? I think we go back to Light Island. I believe, okay, do I, can we get Yelmet? No way. Oh my gosh, I would have lost my mind. Okay, I know for a fact we can get Plick Belly right there. I believe that's his name, right? Plick Billy? Oh, Pluck Bill. I'm so sorry. You guys are so mad at me for that. All right, we're going to go ahead and get him a level up here and then sent on over to our magical nexus island by the way guys please let me know down in the comment section below how you guys are liking magical nexus this island is very different so far i'm seeing a lot of people say it's making their top three for the island so i don't know i guess we're gonna have to see what the song sounds like after i get all the monsters but man you guys are gonna have to let me know oh yo he came in he like played in the middle of that sample from i think it was ruba Oh, no, it's Gloptic. 
He was like very lightly tapping right there. I could barely hear it, but it was there. I think he's going to come back here in a second. <laughs> I love when he first comes in. Like it's kind of like a, like a stringy kind of shaky bop. And then right here. See, you can hear it there. Cool, guys. Okay, Plug Bill plays a cool role there. Okay, there's a specific monster on Psychic Island that I want to get placed out. Because he has a very interesting vibe. I'm not really sure how they're going to work him in here. So it's going to be... Wait, he's not here. Wait, do I not have him right now? What? Thermond. I don't have Thermond on my Psychic Island. Wait, what? How did I not have him here? Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Thermond is down bad over there. <laughs> All right, brother. We're going to get you leveled up. Oh, my gosh. How on earth are they going to fit him into Magical Nexus? Those, like, two floating mouths sing. It's like such an insane thing to do with a monster. I, I'm probably this is gonna blow my mind. I already know it. Let's let's just send him on over. Oh. Okay. See, he's scratching his head, bro. There. Oh, dude, he's so cool. Cool, guys. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like him too much here. I think he makes, like, a cool little accent, and I think he is funny. And it's cool how they, like, do his singing, how he has the floating mouths. I just don't think his sound adds really too much to the song. So I'm not, like, the biggest fan of Thermine. But one thing I was trying to say there before he interrupted me is these monsters here are so, like, visual. Like, my singing monsters went crazy on the animations for the monsters on this island. Like, I'm already noticing Fiddleman. He's flying around. Thermine scratching his head, then glossing. Optic scratching his nose. Like all these little and then Tutu, she goes ham. All these little extra animations that they didn't have to add, but they chose to do the extra work and to make the monsters a little bit cooler, and I, I can appreciate them for that. Alright, guys, I think next in line is gonna be the whimsies. And these guys, they're so good. We have like a choir with them. Oh, dude. I love the whimsy so much, guys. Such a beautiful set of singers there. I don't know what they're gonna do with them on Magical Nexus here, but I, they're not gonna be able to miss, bro. The whimsies are so good. This is gonna be crazy. Beautiful falsetto voice with all of them. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Dude, what an awesome set of... Oh my gosh. I can't get over them. They are... That's a beautiful set of monsters, guys. Okay. Oh! Okay, they kicked in there for a brief second and gave us that, like, beatboxing vibe that they typically bring to the island. Okay, here they're coming back in here. And they're giving us a sort of a melody. They're kind of working off the nutches. That was funny, bro. I really like how they worked off the nutches there. They kind of bounced back and forth there for a few verses. Awesome, guys. Y'all already know I'm a fan of Magical Nexus, and I can't wait to see how the vibe continues to progress. Heading on over to Psychic Island, guys. Our next monster we're going to be placing on the island is Yuggler, and he's always been an interesting monster. We kind of get like a clicky drum sort of sound from him, so I'm sure he's going to nice and smoothly fit on our Magical Nexus Island. Now that he's leveled up to level 18, let's go ahead and transpose him on over. I'm not going to lie, dude. The amount of food that you have to use to transpose these monsters is insane. You legitimately have to stock up on food before trying to complete this island. But here we go, guys, with the Yuggler being sent over. Let's go ahead and place him down on the island and hear what he sounds like. Oh, okay. I just want to let him cook here. Nice. We're getting a very lighthearted tint. It's like a cymbal kind of clacking there. <laughs> oh, Yo, the animation on this. Oh my gosh, bro. He is launching those things around there. As far as his sound goes, though, this is pretty minuscule. They're not really giving us much from the Yuggler on Magical Nexus. But man, I could sit here and compliment this animation all day long. They really, that is one thing I've noticed. They have gone all out for the animation. Look at over there. Our light bulb monster, bro. He's just flipping around. My singing monsters definitely stepped their game up when it comes to the monster's animation on this island. On over to Bone Island, guys. Banjaw is going to be the next monster we're targeting here. We are rolling through a lot of these monsters monsters guys be sure to click subscribe if you're new to the channel i'm consistently posting like three videos on my singing monsters every single week so if you enjoy the vibes you want to see me play in this game and unlocking all these new monsters then be sure to click subscribe oh 
Yo, dude. Bro, he came in there for a brief second and then kind of paused out. But he went ham, bro. And his body... Wait. Oh, I think he's charging up. sounds so good right there. That was awesome, bro. I love the sound that we get from banjo. It's like that deeper brass Tony banjo sound. And it always it always fits in good. It fits in great on Bone Island, and I think it slides in really nicely on our magical Nexus Island as well. It's really cool, man. As you start to get more and more monsters, you start to notice these accents actually blending together very nicely. And like the monster from earlier that you didn't think would be that good is actually now kind of helping the song move in the correct melody. It's really cool, dude. I love my singing monsters, man. I just love this game. I can't help it. I'm not gonna lie guys the only thing i don't like about this new island is the fact that i'm gonna have to rebreed all of these monsters on all of these different islands oh that is so upsetting bro but it's okay because it's worth it man we get a new island we get all these new sounds you guys get to watch more content like it, it's worth it guys I'll, i don't mind putting the work in if it means you guys get to be happy so with that being said let's go ahead and place down our new monster on the island and hear how cantarell is about to fit into our song gear <laughs> <laughs> I forgot their voice is really weird like this. <laughs> Dude, the way these two heads just work off of each other here, their voice is just, it's very interesting and unique. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Do they sound good? No, they, they kind of sound horrible. But I can appreciate every monster for what they offer, okay? Since he's a funny monster, the comedy kind of fills in for the lack of melody and vocal that we don't get from him. Heading back over to Bone Island, I think we're now going to work on the four element for the island, Cantarell. Ah, oh, dude, rebreeding Cantarell is going to be hard. I remember Bone Island was not an easy island to complete, so I'm definitely going to regret this later in the future, having to rebreed him. But you know what? We're not going to think about that for now. We're just going to think about how happy it's going to be to have him on our new island as he gets transposed. All right, guys, you know the drill. We have a two-day wait time that we are speeding straight through here. 50 diamonds down the drain. Let's go ahead and place Plinka Joe on the island and hear what he sounds like. Okay, here we go. He just clacked the bone up there. We got a very light... Yeah, there he is again. A very light sound. I'm not gonna lie, bro. He sounds very similar to the Yuggler, dude. They're like kind of working off each other here. Ooh. Okay. That's a little bit of a brighter sound there. And he kind of walked that up. Bro's hugging his tail. What What is going on? Interesting, guys. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Another just underwhelming monster. He just, he adds the light accent, but he really doesn't do much. Like, we can hear him right here, but very, very lightly. I don't know, but nonetheless, our island is moving in the correct direction, and we're not slowing down at all. Let's hit the light island, and we're gonna go ahead and grab our guy Spy Trap. He should be bringing in, like, this new kind of drum vibe to the island. He doesn't typically sound like the normal drummer. He kind of has his own little accent, so I'm sure he's gonna sound unique in his own way here. So let's go ahead and transpose him on over to the island. Oh, dude, I love that sound effect. Let's go ahead and speed this man up here and place him on over on our magical Nexus Island and see if he's gonna fill the drumming void that I think he's able to okay he's kicking in strong here he's like beating on that dome and giving us like a ricochet sound oh my gosh yo bro is getting aggressive <laughs> cool guys okay so we're getting that extra kind of drumming sound i don't think we have a single drummer on the island actually so he's like the closest form of that that we're getting which is very interesting wait now that i think about it is she no shelby to natural island i was about to say if we could have shelby on the island too that would be crazy she would no doubt be an insane sounding monster okay who next guys we're on fairy island i think we're gonna go with this monster and yes we can transpose him guys i'm not gonna lie i don't even really remember this monster's name fairy island was a long time ago dude i barely even remember that video oh my gosh i just accidentally gave her way too much food. Oh, whatever, dude. Let's go ahead and transpose her off the island over to Magical Nexus. Things are moving in a very fast direction, guys. I think we've literally gotten like seven or eight monsters in this video already. And we still have a couple more to go, guys. So if you're enjoying the video, please hit that like button for me. Comment down below. It helps me out. Ooh. Yo, wait, that sounded sick. Hold up. That was like an electronic keyboard there. No, dude, he went away. I want more. That sounded awesome. Oh, that was like an electric guitar. Yo, wait, we just got like a, a what was that? It almost sounded like a distorted. 
Sorry, don't let me interrupt you. That was wild. We got like two completely different sounds from him there. Not gonna lie, very, very surprising. That's a W monster. I really like that. The first opening was like a keyboard sound, and then that second sound literally gave me electric guitar vibes. I don't know. Y'all are gonna have to let me know about that monster in the comment section, because that was awesome. All right, guys, who do we grab next? I think we're gonna go with our homeboy, Hollow. And I'm pretty sure I actually have a rare version of him here, which is cool. So that's gonna kind of spice up our magical Nexus Island. I don't mind sending him away. It's all good. I'm sure I'll have another chance to get him later on. But for now, we're going to send homie over, and he's actually going to probably help with the drumming accents that we don't currently have on the island. Let's go ahead and speed him up out of the stair shaper, and you guys, I don't even have to say it anymore. Y'all know the drill. We're going to go ahead and place him down and hear what he sounds like. Oh, he's kicking in strong there. Nice, and we're getting all kind of motion. Again, guys, just another cool animation with him. The head's kind of popping up there. He's very lighthearted. His sound sounds like almost like thin. That's how I can describe it. It's a very thin sound. And he's kind of popping off here during this solo. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I love it when people like Hollow, he's kind of like a slept on monster and he gets a little bit of spotlight here on Magical Nexus. That's awesome, guys. A lot of progression. This is what the island is currently looking like. There we go. Bonkers is sliding in here. And we're getting like a very subtle thumping kind of sound. I don't want to, it's, it's kind of like a drum, but it's more like a thump sound. It's not very profound. It's kind of lighthearted there, but it does give us another light drumming accent. We kind of mentioned this in the last episode, guys. This island doesn't have like a good drummer. Like we have this spy trap. Oh wait, Bonkers is playing with spy trap. <laughs> as far as like a full-fledged drummer, we don't have like a Shelby or anything like that for this island. But you know what? We have Hollow down there working as well. It seems like all of these light-hearted drummers are actually starting to kind of work together to give us some sort of drumming accent sound. Over here on Light Island, guys, our four-element bloat. Another monster, guys, and I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be very unfortunate having to come back to this island and replace this monster. I'm pretty sure he was really hard to get, but it's all good, guys, because I'm sure he's about to sound phenomenal over on our Magical Nexus. I just spent eight million coins to get him teleported over. Guys, y'all have to subscribe. I've taken so many L's for this new island. Two day wait time. That's going to be like 100 diamonds. Okay, only 50. We can deal with that, guys. Let's go ahead and speed our homeboy bloat up here. Click to ponder the orb. Wait, I actually haven't been opening these like this. There he is, dude. He's such a legendary monster. And guys, we're about to take a look at our collection book here. We are getting close to being filled up. As you guys can see, I have a couple rare monsters, so we actually don't need all of these. But we do have a few missing pieces to our puzzle of a song gear. But for now, let's put our attention towards Bloat. Let's hear what he sounds like. Ooh. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to hear this here. It's almost like we're getting like kind of a symphony, like a very light symphony. He's very, how do you describe bloat sound, guys? Like, I don't know what to commentate about that. Oh, now he's coming in and out with this new melody. Oh, he got really high there. Yo, he got really high at the ending. Oh, and he's continuing to work throughout the song here. Guys, we're on like the third wave of the song and bloat is still in here. Ah, uh, dude, that's so good. I'm glad they're using him for more than just the opening. That is one thing, guys. There are a lot of monsters for this island. So I'm noticing a lot of monsters aren't really getting that much time to have more than one sample. They're kind of in and out. So it's cool to see someone like Bloat coming in in different ways throughout the entirety of the song. All right, guys, we're going to head back on over to Psychic Island. I think we had two other monsters that we need to get from here. And I know this one right here is one. I haven't replaced any of the monsters that I've been teleporting over to this island yet. So we might have to do a video where I just literally replace all of these monsters because there's so much work that needs to be done. You know what? Actually, something I could do. I could live stream that. I could play this game and get all this stuff fixed up and just live stream it. That way I can talk to you guys while I'm getting these monsters done. I don't know. I've thought about streaming before. If you guys think y'all would prefer live streams instead of videos, then let me know down in the comment section below. Oh, yo, hold up. We got... Wait a second. This could be the intense drummer that we've been missing. Oh, he's like slamming that. Oh, it looks like he's like one beat at a time here, but it's a it's a profound one whenever he finally does hit it Oh, it's like he's slamming against a tin door or something <laughs> Cool guys, okay Oh, don't 
Damn. He hit that right there. I like that. Okay, that is definitely way more of a drumming sound compared to all of the other lighthearted drummers that we've had for this island. He's got some, like, authority behind his slap there. I do really like that. I wasn't really expecting much from that monster, so I'm not gonna lie. That was definitely a big plot twist. I believe we have a monster that we need to get over on Light Island. It's like that monster that plays the little maraca thing. What's his name? Um, there he is right here. It's like this bug-looking monster. I think his name is actually Bulbo, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Y'all have to correct me down below. I'm not gonna check it. I just want to get him on the island so we can keep the video rolling here. Let's go ahead and transpose him on over to our magical Ooh. nexus. That sound effect is so good. I will literally never get over that. That's like one of my favorite things about this entire island. By the way, I am curious. Have you guys completed y'all's magical nexus as well? I know this island has required a lot of food. And it has been a very interesting process getting this collection book filled up for the island. And just kind of putting the entirety of the song together. So I am curious how many of you guys have actually completed this island for yourself. And if you have, what do you rank it? We're probably going to do a tier list video on this island here soon. But for now, Bull Bull is placed down. Let's go in and hear what he sounds like. Oh, there he is. Wait, he's kind of sliding there. And then the light bulb lights up behind him. Mm, that's like a very light kind of scratchy maraca. Very interesting. He's not giving us much, though, guys. We're gonna wait this out here and see if he offers us anything more throughout the song. I'm not gonna lie, though. If he doesn't, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed because he really didn't do much for us there. All right, guys. Yep, I've been waiting. It looks like we're not gonna get anything else from him. So I'm not gonna lie. That That is kind of upsetting. It's like, why do I even have to use a million food on that monster? Because they don't really do anything for the song. You know, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I know my singing monster has their purpose for every monster. Heading to Psychic Island, guys. We need to get this monster right here. Capricorn, and he gives us like a little drumming sound too. It's not really much of a... <laughs> it's not really much of a drumming sound. It's kind of like a... How do I how do I explain that? I'm imagining someone like bumping a cup with like a little I, I don't even know. Nonetheless, I'm sure this accent is gonna fit in well on our magical Nexus Island. So let's teleport him on over. Homeboy is posted up in the stair shaper. We're gonna go ahead and speed that up. You guys already know how it is. And with him being sped up and about and with us unlocking him, guys, we are that much closer, guys. We're about to complete our magical nexus for good. Oh my gosh, dude. I feel like I've made 10 videos on this island. I know you guys are just ready for this island to be done as well. So don't worry, we're about to finish it here today. But with Tapricorn being placed down, let's go ahead and find out what he sounds like oh wait he's getting like a constant sound <laughs> he's like staying in here dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Let's go. I like that, bro. It's like someone's like knocking on a door, actually. That's what I was looking for. Someone's like knocking on a wall or a door. That's what the, like, that's, that's the sound that I'm getting. Interesting, guys. Okay. I haven't heard him come back in here, so that might be all we're getting for him as well, which is completely okay. You know, there's so many monsters. I understand that not all of the monsters can go at the same time, or the song would just be very crowded, hectic. It would have a lot of holes and a lot of just L's. So you know what? My singing monster knows what they're talking about. I what do I? I'm just a YouTuber, bro. All I'm doing is collecting the monsters. Well, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but guys, we're gonna keep the video rolling. I believe we actually need another monster on Psychic Island. Yeah, so we need this guy right here. This is the monster that gives us that weird sound we always think of whenever we hear Psychic Island. It's like that weird DJ kind of thing. I don't really know how to explain that. I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure how this is gonna work on Magical Nexus, but he is a bold monster with a bold sound, so I'm sure it's gonna be a game changer right here. Guys, if you're still watching the video, be sure to smash that subscribe button for me, because we literally just got like seven monsters. Literally just like that. We are rolling through this video today. I'm trying to give you guys the good content, so if you're enjoying and clicking that sub button and hitting like, that would help me out so much, and I would really appreciate it. But here we go. Let's go ahead and place our new monster on the island and hear what she sounds like. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, she's bringing that vibe over here, and she instantly is just picking it up right off the bat. Okay, we're getting like a little bit of a pause from her. That was really interesting. That DJ kind of thing we were trying to explain earlier. She got dropped down and instantly just brought that to our magical nexus. And there she is coming back in. I don't know, dude. This is a kind of overall improves the melody because she's playing as like a loud background. Kind of giving us that like, uh, I don't know, like the electronic kind of background sound. I don't know. It's hard. For, I'm trying to explain this properly, but I, it's hard for me. I don't know why. My brain is not working right now. But nonetheless, that is what she sounds like for our magical nexus. We still have a few more monsters, guys. So we're going to keep the video rolling. I think we have two on Bone Island that we need. Okay, so I know for a fact that we need this woman right here. She like plugs the skeleton of that monster right there. And all always brings an awesome sound to the island. So I'm sure this is going to be great. Let's go ahead and get her transposed on over to Magical Nexus. Say goodbye. And let's go ahead and grab her out of the stair shaper here. Speeding her on up and throwing her on the island. We're about to find out what Wither sounds like and how she helps our song out. Ooh. 
Yo, wait a second. That was fire right there. Okay, she came in for... I haven't heard her again since she first came in. Oh, yo, I really like this. Wait, how is that? Bro, the dead skeleton's tail is wagging up and down somehow. Guys, that's really cool. Okay, what instrument is that she's playing here? It kind of sounds like... Is that a string instrument? Oh, go crazy with her. I can't tell. It kind of sounds like a kalimba, but it also kind of... I don't know, guys. Y'all are going to have to let me know what instrument that is in the comment section down below. Oh my gosh, she went crazy leading into that new part of the song. I like that they're using Wither more than they've used the past few monsters. I really love when they give monsters more than just one thing to do. Okay, guys, we need this horned monster right there. Uh, but where can I find him at? I'm trying to think. Is that like a... That's not a... Is it a fairy island monster? Um, let me see. Bro, our island is completely empty, dude. Literally, we have nobody here. It is straight crickets. Okay, you know, I know that we need this monster. So let's go ahead and get him leveled up on over to level 18. And then I guess we'll come back for that other monster. That might be a psychic island monster. I'm not entirely entirely sure but i do know that we need this monster so let's go ahead and just focus on him and this is supposed to be yet again another drumming sounding monster i don't really know how much he's gonna overall affect our song but he does have a really cool design and they're already doing some cool stuff with this animation like tickling the center right there so here we go guys let's go ahead and find out what this monster sounds like yo okay wait right off the bat him and bonkers are right next to each other and they both kicked in together Oh, that was kind of fast right there. This literally, okay, it's like bouncing a ball. I don't know whatever that monster is like in the middle of him there, but it sounds like he's bouncing like a basketball up and down like really fast. Oh, guys, okay, I already know. This is gonna subtly keep going throughout the entirety of the song here. Awesome, guys. Okay, as you guys know, whenever you start to get more monsters, you just start to slowly connect more of the puzzle pieces. That's kind of how we explained what the islands are like. It's like a puzzle that you slowly, slowly unlock. And by the time you finally get all the pieces, it all makes sense together. And all right, here we are. This is the monster over here on Bone Island. Sorry, man, I swear I didn't forget about you. I just forgot where you were located at. <laughs> here we go. Let's get him leveled up on over to level 18. And oh, my gosh, guys, I just now noticed our food count is really low. Holy cow, dude. I didn't even realize. Okay, thankfully, we are almost done. So I think we should still have enough food to finish the video off. But here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and speed this monster out of the stair shaper here. Place him down and see how he affects our island. Oh, he's coming in with this like horn sound right off the bat. Oh, I love monsters that sound like this, guys. This like smooth sound. It's just kind of transcending. Oh, dude, I love that. I could literally sit here and listen to this all day. Sorry, guys. We're just going to let this play out. I'm just going to enjoy this. Look at his eyeball, dude. He only has one eye. It's like rotating through his head. <laughs> oh, man. So good there. And then he exits out. Oh, wait. He went higher there. animation is so good. Bro, I thought they were gonna exit him there, and then he just starts winding up, and then gives me this higher pitched horn sound. Oh, dude, this is so good. I love that, man. I guys, I love those, like, monsters that really have that harmony to them. I'm very much like an emotional kind of guy. I like the emotional sounding monsters. But guys, with him being placed down, we only need one more monster. Yes, we are on our last monster, finally, guys. We are about to finally complete our magical nexus island. Clackala is the last monster. I'm sorry, Clackala. I don't know why he was the last monster. For some reason, I just never got him until this moment. But nonetheless, here he is, guys, and we are about to transpose him on over to our island. With it being sent over guys this is the last monster that we're going to be using the stair shaper with this has been a fun series guys i have enjoyed this island and we're about to finally top it off right here with clackala let's go ahead and place him down now and hear what he sounds like on the island there we go and he kind of kicks in right off the bat i love that guys i say it with every monster the animations on this island are literally the best this is the best island when it comes to animation clackala here has, he's never done this i don't think he's like reaching up and down and clacking those hands, bro. As far as his sound goes, he's giving us a typical what you would expect from Clackala. It looks like he's kind of matching that drumming sound that our other drumming monsters also give us. Oh, he's in and out there. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Well, there we go, guys. This is our final Magical Nexus song. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to watch another video.